And whatever the meaning is, you have to take it. You can't give your own description, allegorical meanings to the description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl, Fanny Lungu, back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. So if you want us to react to something drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll actually look into it other than reactions we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 we, we post weekly vlogs on sundays or saturdays and you guys can enjoy the content on that as well we've also got a patreon and you guys can feel free to become members other than that we would a podcast where we have some interesting conversations and we'll be posting another one soon so you guys better um stay tuned or just find us on itunes or podcast so you may see our episodes there and a big shout out to everyone that's been suggesting things you guys are the best uh, commenting interacting with us sharing watching thank you very much you guys are the very best i'm excited to be reacting to this video because there is someone who's always positive under our comments and is always giving us something to react to they explain stuff here yeah, the very best big shout out to you i don't know your name but i'm sure you know yourself thank you for giving us this reaction so as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to dr zakina 7413 or is it 7413 three categories three categories of heat hope i said that right so without wasting time let's get into the video before you get into the video you can find um everything else that we do you can find the links in the description box just feel free to click one of them and you'll find everything else that we do so without wasting time let's get into the video concerned islam does not merely believe in monotheism islam believes in tawhid tawhid means unification it means asserting oneness it comes from the root word wahada means to unite to unify it means to consolidate islam does not merely believe in believing in one god it believes in tawhid and there are three categories of tawhid tawhid al-rububiyah tawhid al sifat and Tawhid al -ibadah. In the first category of Tawhid al rububiyah it means maintaining the unity of Rabb, unity of Lordship. Tawhid al rububiyah is derived from the Arabic word Rabb, meaning Lord, sustainer, cherisher, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, the cherisher, the sustainer of everything in the universe. Everything is dependent on Him and he is independent of anything and everything maintaining the unity of lordship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's called as tawhid al rububiyah the second category is tawhid al asma wa sifat maintaining the unity of the names and attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is further divided into five subcategories number one is whatever name you give to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it should be the name that he himself has given him. You cannot give your own name to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cannot say that Allah is al ghadib the angry one. The Quran does say he gets angry, but that's not one of the names Allah has given himself or the messenger has given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, when you describe the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you describe it according to how Allah has described himself or the messenger has described Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can't give your own description. And whatever the meaning is, you have to take it. You can't give your own description, allegorical meanings to the description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third is, you cannot give the qualities of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
to Allah himself. You can't say that Allah forgets knows Billah. That is the quality of his creation. You cannot say Allah makes a mistake. Like some of the scriptures say that God made a mistake knows Billah. These are the qualities of his creation. Number four, you cannot give the attributes and qualities of Allah to any of his creation. You can't say, I know a person who's immortal, who's eternal. These are the qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fifth category is that you cannot give the name of Allah to any of his creation. If you have to give, you have to add abd to it. For example, you cannot say that he's ar-Rahim. You can say abd rahim the servant of the most merciful. And you cannot add anything to Abd except Allah. Anything else besides Allah, you can't say Abdul Rasul. He is the servant of Rasul. This is not permitted. It breaks the second category of Tawid al of Sifat. And the third category is Tawid al Ibadah, maintaining the unity of worship. Ibadah comes from the Arabic root word Abd, which means to serve, meaning a slave, meaning a servant, in servitude. We have to maintain the unity of worshipping Allah alone and no one else. Tawhid al-Ibadah means maintaining the unity of worshipping Allah alone and no one else. If you follow the first two categories, that Tawhid al-Rububiya, saying Allah, he is a Rabb, he is a sustainer, creator, also agreeing with Tawhid al-Asma of Sifat, giving him good names and attributes, creator, etc. But if you worship somebody else besides Allah, then too you are breaking Tawhid. Another interesting video, like I said, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Um, I mean, when it comes to unity um, for everything that screams unity and um, for anything that unites all of us together, something that's going to unite and bind us together. So this was interesting to come across. Very, very interesting. We should look for more common grounds so that we're brought tighter together other than always trying to find something wrong in something or finding a reason not to come closer together don't look at the differences look at the similarities the common ground between maybe you and i you and the other person or the different worlds we live in and let's use those common things to unite us or remember it's always up to us if we want to unite, we can be that great power that's going to unite. But then if you want us to be separated, then we're losing then we're losing sight of what God created us for. Otherwise, a big shout out to the person that's requested this. Thank you. This was interesting to um, listen to something new. Again, something new that we're reacting to. And thank you very much. Let me know what or how you guys would interpret the message that's a key Gaik was talking about. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.